Here's a question I get asked a lot. What the heck does my rib cage mobility have to do with my pelvic floor function? In order to answer this question, we have to talk a little bit about what's happening inside the body when you're breathing. When you are breathing, your ribs have to move upward and outward and inward and downward. This allows for a movement in your diaphragm and also for pressure to change up top in your thoracic cavity and down below in your abdominal cavity. So when you inhale, the ribs move upward and outward. That allows the lungs to fill with air. And your diaphragm, which is attached and housed in the rib cage, moves downward. It descends. When it hits a certain point, its peripheral fibers assist in that movement upward and outward of the ribs. This causes the pressure in your thoracic cavity to decrease. At the same time, down below in your abdominal cavity and your pelvic floor, there's things happening. So as the ribs move up and out, the diaphragm descends, your thoracic cavity pressure decreases, your intra-abdominal pressure goes up and increases, and your pelvic floor moves downward and widens out. So your respiratory diaphragm and your pelvic diaphragm are moving down together. Ribs expanding, pressure up top decreasing, pressure in your abdominal cavity increasing. The opposite happens when you exhale. Your pelvic floor ascends, it comes back up. The pressure in your abdominal cavity decreases. Your diaphragm ascends back up to its normal resting position. And the pressure in your thoracic cavity increases as your ribs move in and down. So if you have some kind of issue in your rib cage or thoracic area, whether it's uh, fractured ribs or some kind of respiratory issue or any kind of tightness or imbalance throughout your chest wall, this is going to impact how you're able to move pressure through your whole core system. So when you're dealing with pelvic floor issues, it's important not to treat just locally in the area where you're having an issue, but think globally. What else is impacting that pelvic floor? What else is impacting the core system and how you're balancing and moving pressure throughout your body because you are interconnected? Hope this helps.